What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 14.4.1 with CheckRain. As you guys can see, we'll go into settings here, we'll go into general, we'll go to about, and as you can see, this uh, 7 Plus is on 14.4.1. And uh, it is jailbreakable with CheckRain. So the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do um, is uh, get your iPhone ready to be jailbroken. Now, I do want to mention that this is going to work on iPhone 10 and older. So iPhone 10 and older, you can forever jailbreak those devices with CheckRain. If you guys are on the newer iPhones, like the 10s, the 11 or the 12s, um, this will not work for you. You will have to use a different jailbreak utility, at least at the making of this video. So do take note on that. Um, but what we're gonna do in settings, and I know you have to do this for sure for eight, eight plus and 10. I'm on the seven plus, I'm gonna do it just to be safe, is what you're gonna wanna do is go into your um, passcodes here. If I can find them, apparently I'm right there. Apparently I'm blind. So we'll go into our passcodes, touch ID and passcode, and uh, you guys are gonna wanna shut that off. Uh, it's just to ensure that the jailbreak goes smoothly. Like I said, it for sure has to be off for the 10, the 8 plus, and the 8. On the 7 plus and the 7 and below, I don't think you have to do this, but I do it just to be safe. So we have shut off passcode on our iPhone. I also do have it connected to my Mac currently, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my Mac now. Now, like I said, I will be showing you how to do this on Mac. It is possible to do it on Windows. Uh, basically, what you need to do is install Linux onto a flash drive, and then you can run Linux on your Windows and jailbreak with CheckRain using that method. Uh, because at the making of this video, uh, there is no Windows version for CheckRain yet. Um, so before you even start doing that, just come to the CheckRain website. I'll leave a link in the description and scroll down. If there is no Windows version, then you will have to do the the Linux method for Windows. But as you can see, there is the download for Mac right here. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on download. Let CheckRain download. We're gonna go ahead and open up our downloads and run the CheckRain.dmg. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply drag CheckRain into our applications. I already have it, so I'm just gonna click on replace here. And now we can close out of that window. We can, uh, we can actually uh, quit out of the, the CheckRain DMG there. And now what we can do is go into Finder and then just go to your applications as you guys can see here. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is right click on CheckRain and click on open. Now the first time you try this, it won't let you open it. Just click cancel, right click it again, click on open one more time. And now we can open up the jailbreak. And there you go, as you can see, CheckRain is now open. Uh, so you'll notice, at least right now, this will be updated in the future. Um, it says, sorry, iPhone 7 Plus uh, is supported, but iOS 14.4.1 is not. Like I said, in the future, uh, you guys won't get this message, but for those of you that are watching this you know, early, at least my subscribers and whatnot, um, you're gonna need to change some settings with this. So what we're gonna do is go to options, and the first thing we want to turn on is allow untested iOS, iPadOS, tvOS versions. So go ahead and let that be checked. And then I'm going to turn on Verboost boot because it looks freaking cool. And then if you guys are on the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 Plus, or the iPhone 8, you need to turn this option on here, skip A11 BPR check. You need to turn that option on. Like I said, if you're watching this way in the future, um, you technically shouldn't have to check any of this. You should be able to just jailbreak it. Uh, like I said, the way to know if you need to check any of that is it'll tell you in the warning about your device here. Um, warning iOS 14.4.1 is untested. In the future, it won't say that, so that's how you will know. Uh, but now that we've checked those on, we are ready to begin the jailbreak process. It's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna click on Start, and as you can see, there's a little warning here. It's perfectly safe, just click OK. And it says the device needs to be put into DFU mode. So we're gonna click next. And you guys will notice that my iPhone 7 Plus is doing things now. So just uh, let CheckRain do its thing. Give it a second to load. Basically what it's doing is putting our iPhone into recovery mode. 
and then Checkerine will guide us on how to put it into DFU mode. Okay, we are now in recovery mode, and as you can see, Checkerine is telling us that it's time to put device into DFU mode. Now, this will be different depending on what device you have. If you have an iPhone 10, it is different than the 7 Plus. So take note, there's some directions and a guide on the right hand side here. It says first step is click to start. And as these light up is when you do them. So I'll just click start. And then what I'm gonna do is um, press and hold the side and volume down buttons together. And then step three, once that lights up, I will release the side button, but keep holding the volume down. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that now for you guys. Let me get my fingers in place and we're just gonna click on start. Hold them both, and then I'll take my finger off the side button, but continue holding the volume down. Now, if you guys at all mess up during this part and it fails, just remember that you can just do a hard reboot and start over. But as you can see, I successfully put it into DFU mode, so now it's going to start jailbreaking my 7 Plus. And since I have verbose boot enabled you guys will see the cool activity of the jailbreak doing a bunch of stuff which looks really really cool if you ask me i love uh jailbreaks when they do that reminds me of red snow back in the day and now check rain is done so my 7 plus is now booting back up here so we'll just go ahead and Go into our device and you want to give it a minute uh just give it a minute for check rain to load sometimes this takes you know a little bit for it to actually show up on your home screen so just wait a minute here and it should eventually show up on your home screen and there we go it just popped up so now you can see we do have the check rain application on our phone so let's go ahead and click on check rain and then we have the option to install Cydia. so i'm going to go ahead and install Cydia. And as you can see, now we do have Cydia on our home screen. So from here, we can go and launch it. And you guys should get some up, updates that you need to do here. I will get a pop-up, I'm assuming, here in a second. And uh, a couple fails here, trying to refresh data. That's okay, we can just return to Cydia. As you can see, there are some essential upgrades. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to upgrade everything that it tells you to. So go ahead and you know upgrade all of that. I'll just do it real quick, because why not? Um, and then you're jailbroken. You can start installing tweaks and making your iPhone look really, really cool. If you guys want to discover really cool tweaks, I'll leave my best iOS 14 uh, tweaks playlist in the description. I've covered a ton of tweaks at this point, like on my iPhone 10 and also on my 10s Max. So if you guys want to discover really cool tweaks, check out that playlist. But that is basically how you're going to jailbreak iOS 14.4.1 with Check Rain. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.